Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my show. I'm your host, Diana Bellarosa, award-winning and best-selling author, Fire and Night, The Journey of Transformation, and The White Within. You can find out more about, about me on my website, dianabellarosa.com, as well as download today's podcast and my past podcast full with useful tools for any situation you're facing at the moment. So please go to my Block Talk Radio website, subscribe, download my episodes for free, share them, comment, let me know what kind of a topic you wish me to cover. Today, I would like to talk about purposeful life equals happy life, and life that makes you who you are, not what everyone wants you to be. So to focus in order to have life that is happy, that is healthy, and makes you. Because when you are being you, then you have to feel happy, and every obstacle that comes, you are um, able to overcome it in the best possible way because you feel confident, you are loving yourself, and you're living the life which is truly yours. And today I'm going to talk about purposeful life. Here is a little definition I found on Google. A purposeful life is a happy life. When you live your life with a purpose, you are much more in control of your long-term happiness. You won't have the feeling like you're just drifting, working towards some vague goal that doesn't make you happy. So <clears throat> here is a nice article I found out um, found about purposeful life. 16 signs that you are living purposely. Living purposely is one of the most effortless but enjoyable experience which you can enjoy in life. When you're living purposely, Purposeful life just flows, like flowing water. You effortlessly adapt to any obstacle which is placed in your path. You care, you crave out your own path You, as you pass peacefully through it. There are times when you think can become turbulent and you can fall off purpose, but with a small amount of conscious effort you can usually guide yourself back until you're living purposely once again. It may take a little time and effort to find your purpose, but once you do it so and choose to live your purpose, the benefits are beyond measure. You build supportive relationship. The artist's job is not to scump to despair, but to find an antidote for the emptiness of existence. Wendy Allen. Traditionally, we build friendships based on proximity. Social psychology shows us that we tend to have a great fondness of those whom spend time with. We often build these friendships at a young age, but as we change and our lives change, these relationships fail to change with us. As a result, we can end up spending a great deal of time with people who no longer support our growth as human beings. When you're living purposely, you understand the need to evaluate relationships to ensure that they're mutually supportive. It's not just about what others can do for you. It is also important that you're able to help others. This is not to kick old friends out of your life unless it's absolutely necessary. The objective is to organize your priorities. Relationships have a double spiral effect. The right people will lift you up and help you to achieve your goals and objectives. However, if you surround yourself with the wrong people, they will pull you down and hold you back from achieving what you want to achieve. And I have told you this and I have written in my book so many times. And I've been on this route myself and now I, I know how it feels. So be careful. People who doesn't um, 
want you to achieve something, they will find all kinds of excuses, all kinds of examples even to keep you away from who you should be and what kind of a path you should follow. So don't listen to anybody because you should listen. The only person you should listen to is yourself. Number two, you take responsibility. The purpose of life is not to be happy, but to matter, to be productive, to be useful, to have it make some difference that you live at all. When you're living purposely, you don't run away from problems. You don't blame others for what has gone wrong in life. You accept full responsibility for the results which you achieve. When you don't get the results you desire, you identify the changes that you can make and put a plan in place to make those changes. Too many people confuse responsibility with blame. Blame suggests that you deliberately set out to achieve the unwanted outcome you have achieved, that you deliberately or negligently screw up. But responsibility is not about that. It's about finding the best way forward by identifying what went wrong and correcting it. It's like the lessons in life. We, the, less, the things that has happened uh, in our life which we didn't like and don't like, it's to teach us something and we need to always find the uh, oh, we need to always find the message behind this I'm always telling people everything happened for a reason and you need to find why is this happening to me it's not necessary to hurt you or to cause you pain and if you don't experience pain you're not going to be able to correct it When you get a bad outcome, you will usually have contributed to the problem in some way. This is okay because when you you identify your contribution, you know that by doing something different, you can achieve a better outcome next time. Taking responsibility is not to be feared. It is a positive course of action, which is allow you to create the life you want far quicker than blaming everybody else ever will. You are authentic. Nothing is more creative nor destructive than a brilliant mind with a purpose. You know who you are, your purpose, your values, your principles, and your goals. You dedicate your life to pursuing this. When conflict arises or difficult decisions need to be made, you don't bow to the pressures of others. You consult your unconscious and you take what you believe to be the best course of action. One of the mottos by which I live my life is do what you believe to be the right and accept the consequences. There is only one expert in your life, you. You are the only person who has access to all the information about your thoughts, decisions, actions. Others like me can offer some thoughts and advice, but ultimately you still must be the one who decides what is right for you. That's what I do with my customers and with my students. I can tell you, point you out exactly the things you need to work on, but I'm not going to tell you which path to take and what exactly, to, what kind of steps to take. That's how things are. How I would always make people think. So this is really important. about from the therapist, from the life coach, for anybody, from anybody. And I strongly suggest please reach to somebody if you feel like you need help with something who you never met in because your family are biased and they always you have history and they sometimes they but most of the time you know, uh, you are the one to the way to work on yourself and to find out answers to the questions you have. You learn how to live your life on other people's terms. Being authentic is on the living purposely because you start living from the inside out, shaping your world to meet your needs. Living purposely and enjoying a happy life requires that you take to make the decision. And 
everybody in the world know the same someone of the earth, but it's different. You need to understand to understand and to come to think about it and to ask the question, what makes me different than the others? And I, I feel that everybody should start doing that every single day until they get to the point where they answer. And I'm sure it will come to that. Carve your, uh, you put your own needs first. Carve your name on hearts, not tombstones. A legacy is etched into the minds of others in the stories they share with you. If you want to be in the best position to help others, you must first ensure that you are the best to you. They you can be living in a constant state of sacrifice where you always put the needs of others first above the universal. If you focus on continuously growing as a person, you will constantly be you can also achieving your own goals and that you need to met and you are the best you can be. It's not selfish. It's a sign that you care about you and the world around you. When you are at your best, you are able to help and serve others. The benefits from this and the of yourself. When you don't put your own needs first, you are not living purposely because you are not allowing yourself to be all you can be. It is not just you who lose out when this happens. You're not able to be your friend who leaves, but once the family needs so, they lose out too. By not being authentic, nothing is going to go smooth and smooth experience. Things are going to go wrong every time with every relationship because you don't have time for yourself. You are not honoring yourself. You are not loving yourself. And not the person you should be. Therefore, here is the obstacles that come after that. You keep moving forward. If you hang out with chicken, you're going to pluck. And if you hang out with eagles, you're going to fight. It's beautiful. If you hang out with chickens, you're going to pluck. And if you hang out with eagles, you're going to fight. Please remember that it's so important. Living for the team focuses on growth and improvement. To do this, you must keep moving in the forward direction. Everybody has unpleasant things in their past, but as Tony Robbins said, the past does not equal the future, but you choose to be there. So rather than dwell on the past, you must focus on building your future. If you find yourself dwelling on a past incident, ask yourself this question. What is the lesson? And implement the lesson and move on. What do I need to forgive here? It may be you or it may be somebody else that you need to forgive. But if you are harboring any bad feelings, you need to let go and move on. Remember that when you are hung up on past, you are living in the past. You are actually in the past and it's gone so. You are not going to be able to change anything about it. Do what you need to do to let it go and move on. I do your lessons are leave them there for that and turn them into something beautiful by learning from them. Turn them negative or positive because everything what has happened in the past is to teach you to live the bright future in front of you. Don't put your own needs first. You're not living purposely because you're not allowing yourself to be it's not just you who look at when you are not able to give your friends, colleagues, and loved ones the support they need, so they look out to. Remember that you are hung up on the past, you're living in the past. You don't let fear or failure. Realize that if a door closed, it's because what was meant to be yours. It's you're always taking a change. Naturally, you may experience a little bit. But when you're living purposely, you understand that as long as you achieve a result, you can learn from it. It is not a desired result. You can make the necessary changes and try again. 
Failure only arises when you have no result to learn from. You didn't even try. We are passionate about something. Learning about our key components of living purposely, fulfilling your purpose in life requires that you learn, develop, and grow to meet the challenges that lie before you. You understand you cannot buy happiness. You are no longer, you no longer chases mo- chase money because you understand. Of course, you will still want to be appropriate slave for your work, but it's the work itself which takes priority. Remuneration is something that is received because of the work you have done. It's not the purpose of the work. When you live in purpose, you realize that even when the work does not matter, you bring your purpose into work. Your work comes from what you put into it, not what you take out of it. You can easily bring your purpose to any work that is not complete. The greatest selection we are moving. Indecisive doesn't come from having too many options. It comes from having too little quality. When you're living purposely, your purpose gives you the quality you need to make the important decisions. You don't wait for perfection, be a lamp or a light bulb or a leather. Help someone so heal. Walk out of your house like a shepherd. Perfectionism kills confidence, productivity, and performance. If you wait for the perfect moment before doing something, you will never do it. There is no such thing as perfection. Things can always be improved. When you feel the need to be perfect, you are not living purposely because you are not being motivated from within. You are instead being motivated by what you fear others may think or how they may respond. This is pointless because you can never please anyone anyway. You don't compete. If you have a strong purpose in life, you don't have to be pushed. Your passion will drive you there. You pursue supportive, collaborative relationships which are aimed at achieving mutual benefits. You do not feel the need to compete with others. Success in life is not about doing better than other people. It's about being the best you can be. When you understand this, you realize that that each person is unique and there is sufficient opportunity for us all to live happy, healthy, and successful lives. Therefore, there is no need to competition, compression, or jealousy. This is a really important point. Living purposefully is about support, collaboration, and cooperation. This is antithesis of competition. Competition is often just something that others create to help themselves feel good about feeling bad. You set the standards for yourself. He who has why to live for can bear almost anyhow. You set, the, you set the standard at which you wish to live and work. Others may choose to adopt different standards that's their prerogative. As an authentic person living purposely, you will not allow anybody to lower your standards. Really important, please don't allow people to lower your standards and fit you in their box and close you. Because this is not a life, this is struggling and you're going to struggle until the rest of your life. Your life is your game. You set the rules by which you play. We each set our own rules, sure. If you break somebody else's rules by behaving in a way they don't like, you may face some consequences they fall out with you, but that still doesn't mean that you must adopt their rules. Living purposefully, it's not just about deciding the direction of your journey. It's also about deciding the rules and standards you will apply to every action you take to get there. You live by values. A wind that blows aimlessly is no good to anyone. Values are one of the consequences, consequences ways of communicating with you. They say guidelines for how you might like to behave. When you act in accordance with your values, 
you'll be much happier for it. When you act in conflict with your values, you will experience an inner turmoil. When you are clear about your values in your place, your faith in those values, it really is like internet GPS system telling you which way you need to turn and pointing out any potential problems which lie ahead. Don't change for anybody. Don't change your values. Follow whatever feels right for you. And which, whatever feels um, good for you and whatever feels that it's appropriate for you. You don't feel the need to explain yourself. Great minds have purpose. Others have wishes. Little minds are tamed and subdued by misfortunes, but great minds rise above them. You understand that each person is unique and they must live their own purpose. Remember that living purposely means that you are true to who you are, pursue your own goals and objectives, live your life as you see fit, do the best you can in all that you do. Living purposely allows you to choose your own path and follow that path. The only one who loses out if you go astray is you. Why should the judgments of others stop you from living your way? You appreciate. I realized that then, then even though I was a tiny speck in an infinite cosmos, a blip on the timeline of eternity, I was not without a purpose. When you live purposely, you see the beauty in life, not just the big moments. You see the beauty in small moments, too. You take the time to appreciate each of these moments. This is the true wealth in life. When you're not living purposely, you're completely disorganized. As you have no clear direction, you end up doing a little bit of everything without really getting anywhere. As you don't seem to be making progress, you may struggle to see anything to be grateful for. We all have things in our lives for which we should be grateful and appreciative. However, when you have no clear sense of direction, your life can be overcrowded, leaving you unable to identify those things you should be appreciative of. You banish worry and guilt. Find a purpose to serve, not a lifestyle to live. In this book, uh, your enormous zone step-by-step advice to escaping the trap of negative thinking and taking control of your life by Wayne Dyer correctly describes worry and guilt as useless emotions. You are more focused. Here is a test to find out whether your life is complete. If your life it is there. You know that you cannot please everyone, so you don't even try. You know that people require help. There's lights outside if you are going in the right direction rather than make a watch to help them. This really is where the true value of living purposely kicks in. What we fail to notice is that a great deal of power and happiness comes from which shouldn't be in our lives in the first place. When you realize this, you see that getting more focused on the of anything, anyone shouldn't be in your life. Living purposely gives you that focus and that. Living per purposefully allows you to what you can do in here. The present moment is the only time you can take positive action about the past and worry about the future. Conclusion, living purposefully, purposefully, fully is equal as living. You become so certain of who you are and what you're trying to achieve. You can make difficult decisions with consumed ease. You feel a great deal of certainty about yourself. When 
during the most difficult times. Living purpose brings meaning and joy to everything we do and greater sense of competition each time. The 16 points listed above will help you to whether you're living for If you find that you're not living purpose, you want to ask yourself, what is my life purpose? So I hope this can be information in an amazing, amazing way for you to be happy and for you to uh, find out what is your purpose and um, how to apply it into your life and to make the best And you need to understand again that whatever happens in the past, it's the lessons, it's everything you get to learn from. It's so easy, very difficult uh, when it comes to relationships. And we usually feel the game to one. And the person you are with, you can outgrow the person. And this person cannot continue um, the path you follow because uh, you know, it's everyone needs to understand. Uh, available. And I have another package, and I have so many people. And I so uh, you see how important it is for you to live, to find out who you are and what is your purpose in this world and how you can apply it and what you can do uh, to make your life just a little bit easier, especially now it's a good time when we are locked in uh, – our houses uh, for our own good and it's um, amazing amazing time to look deep inside ourselves and find out who we are and what is our person a purpose and uh, kind of reevaluate if we cannot why these things happened asking ourselves these questions and um, find out answers by ourselves and I do some meditation on Facebook, and I'm going to try to do it every day so I can help other people deal with anxiety, stress, and everything what they shouldn't experience. And, know, and I know it's a lot of pressure, but we can deal with it. We are all together in this, and we can help each other, support each other, and do our best to make sure that everybody feels fine and everybody uh, whatever they're f- uh, facing in the moment uh, feels like uh, he or she is not alone. And uh, that's why I'm doing everything in my power to make sure uh, to make you just a little bit easier and just a little bit more enjoyable. So you can find out more about me on the website, theannabellaraz.com. See what I have been doing. All my books are there, everything, what you need to know about me. And you can contact me on my website. You don't hesitate to do it. I work on domestic violence and abuse as well. If you are a victim of domestic violence and abuse, please reach to me. The help is free. I will do everything in my power to make sure that things get better, you are safe, and um, I will find the best solution possible for you at this moment. Please be loving, be supportive. Please understand everybody around you. Please act in the most, uh, the best possible way. Because don't use hate violence. Don't use any negativity towards others. Because let's uh, start to understand each other instead of attacking each other. So I love and light to everybody. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Please be safe.